Imagine the ground beneath you shaking so violently that entire cities tremble, as if they were mere models on a shaking table. On March 11, 2011, in the Tohoku region of Japan, such an unimaginable reality occurred. This catastrophic event not only shook the earth but also unleashed a monstrous tsunami, rewriting the lives of thousands and reshaping the geographical and socio-political landscape of Japan. The Tohoku earthquake and tsunami stand as stark reminders of our planet's formidable power and the urgent necessity for preparedness in the face of natural disasters. The Tohoku region of Japan is situated in a highly seismic area, where the Pacific Plate subducts beneath the North American Plate. This tectonic interaction has historically made Japan one of the most earthquake-prone regions in the world. The 2011 earthquake, which reached a magnitude of 9.1, was one of the five most powerful earthquakes ever recorded globally. Historical records and geological studies reveal that the region has experienced several significant seismic events over the centuries. However, the 2011 earthquake was unprecedented in its magnitude and impact. The understanding of these tectonic settings not only helps in comprehending the sheer force of the event, but also in preparing for future seismic activities. The earthquake that struck Japan on March 11th was not only powerful, but also exceptionally complex. It lasted approximately six minutes and involved a series of fault ruptures along a 500 km long segment of the subduction zone. The energy released shifted the Earth's axis by estimates of between 10 cm and 25 cm. Seismologists used various tools and data, including seismographs and tsunami buoys, to analyze the earthquake. This data has been crucial in revising earthquake response strategies, not only in Japan, but around the world. The scientific community continues to study this event to better understand the dynamics of such large-scale seismic activities. Following the earthquake, a massive tsunami was triggered, reaching heights of up to 40 meters in some areas and traveling up to 10 km inland. The speed and scale of the tsunami were catastrophic, sweeping away cars, homes, and entire communities. This event highlighted the devastating potential of tsunamis associated with subduction zone earthquakes. The progression of the tsunami was documented through video footage and satellite images, providing valuable data that has since influenced coastal defense strategies. The impact was most severe on the northeastern coast of Japan, a region that bore the brunt of the wave's immense power. The immediate aftermath of the earthquake and tsunami was marked by widespread devastation. Over 15,000 lives were lost, and hundreds of thousands of buildings were either damaged or destroyed. The disaster also displaced a significant number of people, creating a humanitarian crisis of immense proportions. Rescue and recovery efforts were launched immediately, with emergency services and volunteers working tirelessly to search for survivors. The Japanese government and international community responded swiftly, but the scale of the disaster posed significant challenges to effective immediate response. One of the most alarming consequences of the earthquake was the damage inflicted on the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The plant suffered major failures that led to three nuclear meltdowns, releasing significant amounts of radioactive material into the environment. The crisis demanded an immediate and complex response involving thousands of workers and a multifaceted strategy to contain the radiation. The disaster raised serious questions about the safety of nuclear power, particularly in seismically active regions, and has had a lasting impact on energy policies worldwide. The global response to the Tohoku disaster was one of overwhelming solidarity. Countries, international organizations, and private entities provided aid, equipment, and expertise to assist in the response and recovery efforts. This global cooperation was crucial in addressing the immediate needs and laying the groundwork for recovery and rebuilding. Media coverage played a significant role in mobilizing international support and keeping the world informed about the developments in Japan. 
The disaster also triggered a global discussion on disaster preparedness and the importance of international cooperation in times of crisis. The economic impact of the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami was profound. Japan faced billions of dollars in damages, and the disruption to supply chains had ripple effects on global markets. Industries such as electronics and automotive, which are central to Japan's economy, were particularly affected. The long-term economic implications were significant, prompting a re-evaluation of economic policies and priorities. The disaster also highlighted the vulnerability of global supply chains to unexpected events, leading to strategies aimed at increasing resilience and flexibility. The environmental consequences of the disaster were severe, with widespread contamination from the nuclear fallout and debris that polluted land and sea. Recovery and cleanup efforts have been ongoing, with significant progress, but some areas may take decades to fully recover. The disaster also prompted increased environmental awareness and initiatives aimed at restoring natural habitats and preventing further environmental degradation. The lessons learned from the Tohoku disaster have been critical in shaping environmental policies and practices globally. The societal impact of the Tohoku disaster was deep and enduring. Communities were transformed with many people relocating permanently. The psychological impact on survivors was profound, with many experiencing lasting trauma. The disaster also brought about a strong sense of community and resilience among the Japanese people. There was a renewed emphasis on community safety and disaster preparedness, with increased investment in social programs designed to support disaster-affected populations. In the wake of the disaster, Japan made significant advances in technology and infrastructure, particularly in the areas of earthquake and tsunami warning systems. Engineering innovations aimed at improving building resilience were accelerated, and new technologies were developed to better predict and respond to natural disasters. These advancements have not only benefited Japan, but have also contributed to global knowledge and preparedness strategies. The Tohoku earthquake and tsunami have thus played a critical role in advancing our ability to predict respond to, and recover from natural disasters. The Tohoku disaster taught numerous lessons about disaster preparedness, response, and recovery. It highlighted the need for robust infrastructure, early warning systems, and effective emergency response strategies. It also underscored the importance of international cooperation and the global nature of disaster response. Policies and practices were revised both in Japan and worldwide, with a greater emphasis placed on disaster resilience. The lessons learned from the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami continue to inform disaster management strategies globally, making our societies better prepared for future challenges. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami were defining moments for Japan and for the world. They demonstrated the destructive power of nature and the resilience of humanity. By examining this event in detail, we not only honor those who suffered but also equip ourselves with the knowledge to better withstand future disasters. Reflecting on this catastrophe, we see not just a record of loss and recovery, but also a blueprint for a safer, more resilient world. The Tohoku disaster remains a poignant reminder of our vulnerability and our strength driving us towards continual improvement in our approach to disaster preparedness and response.